I'm Beatrice and I'm here to show you the colonial stitch today. The first thing is you knot your thread. I have six plies of the DMC. Like so. We're gonna do the little eye here at, in the bird. You come uh, from the bottom up through your spot where you want your colonial stitch to be and you pull it through. Then you have your thread to your right. You put your needle under the thread as a loop and then you uh, bring it over top of the tip and under again so it looks like a figure eight and you pull it tight a little bit. Then you put your needle out beside where you come came out from hold the thread with your left needle and then pull your needle through the little knot and tighten it like so and that's it um, you can treble with the stitch so you can come out over here where your you want your next one to be and I'll show you the colonial stitch again so you go underneath the loop over top in a figure eight put your needle right beside it hold on to your thread and pull it through like so and if you want to uh, if you finished your project, you can make a little knot in the back to secure your knots, like so. So the, and then you snip your threads, and you're done. You can use the colonial stitch for a filler or for the eye to make little berries here, like on the wing. And that's it. It's basically a cousin to the French knot and it's just not as widely known or used, but I love it because it's very easy. I hope you um, have fun using it.